I've just finished work on this, my very first game table. I'm gonna be giving you all a better look at it very soon, but I've learned a lot during this process. And I know that some of you watching this are equally wanting to make your own game table. So I thought I'd share five of the most important things I feel I've learned in this process as someone who built a table with zero experience. First of all, make it manageable. For some reason, I believe that making a five foot by three foot table as my first ever game table was a good idea. Now don't get me wrong, I finally done it, but I'll never know if this process could have been smoother, if I could have done it better, if it would have looked more awesome if I had started off by building tables that were smaller, that were more achievable, and that would have given me the space to learn before I tackled something a lot larger. If you're wanting to make your very first game board, chances are you have this amazing idea in your head for a table that will look amazing and epic. Don't make that table. Make the boring table that's in your head first. You'll learn so much in making it that the epic table that's in your head will benefit from. Make as much flock as you can yourself. For the mall board, I bought quite a lot of flock from Geek Gaming Scenics. They produce some cool basing materials, but in bulk, they're expensive. There's about 70 to 100 pounds worth of basing materials on this table, which is stupid. I'm stupid for having done it, but I wanted something quick. And when you want something done quick and done well, chances are you're going to pay more for it. There's this diagram that illustrates this perfectly. If you want something fast and good, it has a high price. If you want something fast and cheap, it's likely not going to be of the best quality. And if you want something cheap and good, it'll take time. I could have made my own flock. There's plenty of tutorials out there on how to do it, and I'm pretty sure how I could have replicated this, but it would have taken time to test it, to try it out, and to see if it would work. But it could have cost me 10 pounds to flock this board instead of 70. So when you're planning on making your first board, have a think about what you want it to look like and how you'll create that on the build. Where possible, try and make as much of the raw materials yourself and in doing so, you'll lower the cost of making your game table considerably. I couldn't have made this table at all without the support of my Patreon community. If you've ever found my content helpful and would like to support my content and help me make big projects like this, then check out my Patreon. It's linked down below. In return, you get some pretty cool painting guides every month. On the topic of making things yourself though, just as a bonus point, if you watch some terrain builds on YouTube, there are a lot of branded products that get named and usually they do tend to be Geek Gaming Scenics. I've used quite a few of their products on this board, partly just to try them out and honestly, I'm not saying this to create drama, I'm sure Luke would say the same, don't feel like you need to buy these products. A lot of the products at Geek Gaming Scenics are products that you can easily make by yourself as per the diagram the main reason we buy them from Geek Gaming Scenics is because it saves us on time. My next point is to think about storage. I made a three foot by five foot board. Where the heck do I keep something like that in a semi-detached house with no garage? It doesn't even fit up the hatch into my attic. If you're planning on making a game board yourself, please, for the love of your marriage or long-term relationship, Think about where you'll keep it and work on it without either disrupting your home life or making your significant other crazy. This point has my wife's thumb up of approval. Plan as much as is possible before you do anything. Building a game table can be a very long, very arduous, very stressful process. You're gonna be creatively stretched when you start building it because problems arise, things don't go as planned, and a lot of your brain power will be spent trying to troubleshoot issues when they arise. What you don't wanna do is equally then be trying to figure out what you're going to do with the board and what you're gonna build while equally trying to put out fires. Before I started building the mall, I spent a lot of time in Fallout 3, which was my source material, looking at the area that I was hoping to recreate. I drew out plans, tried to figure out how I would achieve all these things, all before I put hot knife to foam. When I worked on set, a saying that I heard a lot was, proper preparation prevents piss poor performance. And the same can be said for this process too. Take time to draw out what you hope to create, figure out what you'll need to achieve it, and make lists. In the long run, you'll be thankful that you took that extra time to plan ahead of time. Get help. I don't mean because you have to be mad in order to make a game table. I mean get help in building it. Building a game table can be tough. It takes a lot of time and energy and it takes a lot of creative brain power. One thing I found helpful was every few stages I was going and getting my wife, who's also incredibly creative, and just asking, hey, 
how does this look? Or saying, I'm thinking of doing this, do you think that'll work? Before I went ahead and did it and ended up ruining something. If there is someone in your life you can bounce ideas off, ask them. And if you don't have someone in your life to do that, there's a link to the Tabletop Hub Facebook group down in the video description. Join that and ask us. There's a link to a Discord there as well. I'd love to help you in this process if you don't have anyone else to ask or bounce opinions off. Equally, don't be afraid to get people to help you build it. There were times where I got my wife to come help me with the modeling compound stage. She helped me base coat the board and even helped with some of the flocking. Building your first game board is a marathon, not necessarily a sprint. Pace yourself, ask for help when you need it. Even if your partner or friends aren't gamers, this is a really cool way to introduce them to your hobby and just bond over something while you're making it. I'm already planning and thinking about my next board and it is definitely going to be simpler than the mall. If you want to see what the mall looks like though, now that it's finished, you can click here to see that video once it's done. If you'd like to see the process from the very start, you can click here. Or if you'd like to help me and support me in building these projects, you can click here on my face. I think there's going to be a Patreon logo or something show up there. If not, this is just going to be a very awkward process.